Hot Texas, how you doing? We are here in Houston, Texas, and we have found a gem, a hot spot among all Houstoners. Is that even a word? I don't know. Anyways, we are here in front of Killen's Barbecue. It's one of the best barbecues in all of Houston, Texas, according to Yelp and also TV programs. Smell this? It smells oh. so good. Superstar chef Ronnie Killen is here to tell us about his award-winning meat. Yes, that's right. It's been on the news for being so good. Usually they have a line going out the door, so you know I had to come here and try it. Welcome back to a brand new episode of My Fortunate Life Choices. Starring yours truly, Brendan Taylor. We also got Jake behind the camera, say hi. And we also have a very special fan here. This is Emily, who is also my friend now. She's one of the biggest fans I have ever seen in my life. She comes visit me every time I've been to Houston. So say what's up, Emily. What's up, Taylor fam? And Emily actually told me about this place. She said it was amazing, so that's why I drove all the way out here. Where are we, Pearland? Yeah, Pearland. It's pretty far from actually like in the middle of downtown Houston. So we drove out here, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna try this place, but first, we have to set up so we can read these reviews. So this place literally has almost five stars. It's just about, it's on the cusp of five stars, but it also has about 2,000 reviews. So that uh. is a lot of reviews <laughs> to have this many good stars. Yeah. So that means this place is bomb. Place. I think it, if we go and it's as good as we think it is, we could be the five star, star reason. Yeah. If we we could change it. it. We could, yeah. that's why we are the five star reviewers. That's why, and we're also one star reviewers though, so uh. if they mess up, yeah, we can bring <laughs> it down. <laughs> Killen's Barbecue is my favorite barbecue joint in Texas. Every item ordered was amazing. The spice, the texture, the juiciness. The favorite dish from both the first and second visit was the beef ribs. It was a killer dish. My mouth okay. was watering. My mouth was watering <laughs> while reading that. I am pumped. Like, I am for sure going in for some ribs. I don't care what my face looks while I eat these. I'm gonna get messy. I'm down. I'm down. I hope they give us a bib or something because I, I got more of a white shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quality and real barbecue in Houston, Texas. I tried all of their three sauces and cannot tell you which one was my favorite. Make sure you have room for dessert and get their bread pudding. I hear it's made out of croissants. Wow. Bread pudding, I don't know what this is, but it sounds interesting according to this review. Croissants. I yeah. love croissants. Yeah, I love croissants. Let's get one more review and get in there because my stomach is starting to growl. So good. We're visiting Galvinstein from Indiana for spring break and drove to Killens for a taste of Texas barbecue. It was terrific. We arrived at 2.45 p.m. on Wednesday and waited in line for 20 minutes. Hashtag worth the wait. The moist brisket exceeds expectation and the creamed corn was my favorite side dish. Everybody in our group cleaned their plates. And then look at this photo, guys. Like, that's a quality photo if I've ever seen one on Yelp. Because every time I see photos on Yelp, they look like they're taken from microwaves. Yeah, that but must be a food review. I, I am so ready to get in there that I don't even want to read any more reviews. I'm ready to hop in there. So with no further ado, let's get some barbecue. Woo! All right, so this meal looks absolutely breathtaking. When I first saw it being cut inside, I thought, wow, this is an actual meal here. This is barbecue at its absolute finest. And the way they have it set up is very interesting. It's almost like going back to school in a way. You grab a tray, you sit through the line, they put a little bit of different stuff on each part of your tray, and then you just get it at the end and you pay. Was a little expensive though, you know, for us three right here, $85. Ooh, that's a full meal. <laughs> but, you know what? We're eating good, treating Emily, because you know what, Emily's wearing my merch. Emily's has like every piece of my merch, literally, isn't that right? Literally. So I'm also gonna be sending Emily a piece of my merch, because I don't have a size small with me, because you know, I'm not a size small, I'm a big guy. <laughs> I'm a food reviewer, you know, I'm a big guy. But anyways, let's jump right into this food. No time to talk. I got beef brisket, I also got a rib, and I also got a jalapeno sausage. I got a side of mashed potatoes and a side of mac and cheese, and the mashed potato is topped with a delicious looking gravy. We also got for dessert bread pudding. pudding. I have never heard of this, but it was recommended from some guys outside. What's your favorite thing from here? Like, what should I get? Bread, bread pudding. pudding. Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Get that. And I saw it on the Yelp review, so I had to get it myself. What did you get over there, Emily? Uh, I got a brisket sandwich because I love brisket. All right, Brisket so. Is you know and I mean? this is some like Texas toast. Texas, Texas, Texas toast. Texas to toast. It's just white bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's just all it is. And there's three different sauces. We got coffee. Ooh. Sweet. Sweet, Sweet. and tangy. And tangy. So uh, what do we put that? What would we put that on? Probably Everything. like. The brisket. The brisket. Yeah. I want to see what this brisket's all about. I'm gonna try some coffee sauce on it. I'll try some tangy. Oh wow, that is the most tender piece of meat I have ever eaten. Mm -hmm. It almost falls apart in your mouth as soon as it touches. It doesn't like taste like meat, it's just like... It's the softest Well like thing the I've... texture isn't meat. You know what it actually the texture is like eating chewed food. Like it's almost like it's already pre-chewed because it's so soft. And like look at it, the texture of this is literally like chewed food. If you look at it, 
but not in a bad way. I know it maybe looks kind of a little gross to you guys, but it tastes amazing. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to find which one is the best sauce. Yeah, I'm going for a I'm going for some tangy. Mmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Tangy is good. Tangy's got a nice little punch to the face. I know you usually don't just jump into sides, but look at this mac and cheese. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I was gonna get it, but I was like, I'm not sure. I ain't never seen mac and cheese like this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it. Oh my god! Inside, on top, it's been hardened. On the inside, it's still soft and juicy as ever. Look at that! Like the juice could just pour out if I were to open this. Look at that! It's dripping. Oh my god! I like tangy. Whoa! That is some creamy the mac and cheese. It's almost like I said, give me some mac and throw some extra cream in that because whoa! It's James hardened on the top, but on the inside, it's Steph Curry creamy, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I, That's should, next I might have level. to go back and get some more. Let me give this mashed potato, because it, it looks so yeah. fluffy. It looks perfect. This is a perfected mac and cheese. I mean, perfected mashed potato. Wow. Mm. Wow. Talk about it. The mashed potatoes itself, compared to what we had at the One Star place, is so good. Well, There's like nothing extra added to it. It's creamy, it's fluffy, and, soft. and then the and soft. Like literally, it's like a pillow. You can sleep on it. Oh. And the gravy, it's like a white cream, gravy, cream like a cream cream gravy. It's so good. It's like what you have with biscuits and gravy. Oh, maybe you, know? you put that on this bread. Oh, go I'm for try it, that. legend. I don't know if the bread really adds anything to it. The mashed potatoes itself are a creamy sensation. You're right. When we had the ones that one started, they tasted buttery. They tasted super salty. They just tasted wrong. This tastes right in every single way that it could. Yeah. This plate is very oily, but I think this is how it has to be. <laughs> this is barbecue food, you know? Yeah. Is that fault the bone? Yeah, literally. Remember I talked about in the one star video, I talked about how yeah, ribs right. are supposed to just fall off the bone. Like, the meat is just falling off of this. I could easily... Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. Your mouth's I, drooling. You're drooling. Everything. Like, I could just... Look at this. The whole meat just comes off. Oh my god. That's how you know a rib is cooked right. You're not supposed to have this huge, difficult time getting the meat off the bone, because then it's just overkill. The sausage, in my opinion, was all right. It was a little tough, to be completely honest, but it had a good flavor profile, so. I think the best thing that I've tasted so far, I haven't even tasted the sausage yet, so I'm gonna get into that, but I think the best thing that I've so far had was the rib. Let me give this a proper taste test. I don't know if you're really supposed to put any sauces on this or if you're just supposed to feel it for the way it is, but I feel like the sauces are out here for a reason, so I'm gonna put a little tangy sauce on this jalapeno, Get a little tang with mahala, you know what I mean? Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I was literally just about to sit here and say the rib was the best thing. It's tough because that's what a sausage is, you know? Soft on the inside, hard on the outside, cooked perfect. It's got the right amount of like little spice to it. Like where it's not too hot, but it's like the perfect amount. How's your sandwich? I mean, it's falling apart, but it's amazing. Because <laughs> the, the meat is just so tender. Damn, you don't even got any meat left in there, huh? I gotta keep, I gotta keep putting it back in. <laughs> <laughs> like, man. The way that this, this restaurant works is like, it's crazy because it's a sit-down restaurant, but at the same time, it's almost like a fast food. Because you see how fast everything happens. You get in line, put the food on the plate, you go outside, you eat, you leave. It's real quick, but at the same time, still has a restaurant feel because you don't have to take your stuff to the trash. You just leave it, and they'll come pick it up. Look how it just breaks apart. That's what I'm saying that's that's a right made rib. Like literally, just pulls into pieces. So good. Taste it. Oh my god. <laughs> The outside has that like off the grill barbecue flavor and the inside just melts in your mouth. So good. Go for that rib. See what she thinks about right. it. And with tangy. With tangy. Go for it. With tangy. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the eye roll? Wow! Whoa. Well the tangy made it a little spicy. That's what I was going for, spiciness. Uh, the rib was just Juicy and it had like a little bit of like hardness, but it was just juicy. Yeah, like these ribs, man. I'm telling you, it's like it's crazy. Like this is an actual proper rib. Like I said, I man, this place is sick. next level. I know why it was on the news now. I know why it has almost five stars. I don't. I wonder why. I'm gonna look at the reviews and see why it's lowest rated. Let's see what they said. 19 days ago, first and last time here, dry beef ribs. Can't say the same. Uh, Maybe you got an old batch. Old dry baked potato. I mean, we have mashed potatoes and they're not dry at all. At all. The, the mashed potatoes don't even mash. They're clumps of butter. Definitely, Definitely not. not at Ours all. were perfect. Do not uh, keep enough inventory with a few hours left until closing. What a waste of time. We drove 45 minutes because of the ratings never again. Okay, so you went 45 minutes before closing and you expected the absolute perfected 
fresh cooked meal. Like they were done cooking by then. They're probably yeah. just serving you the leftovers. And you know, I mean, this is just to say like this place has pure perfect stars, but some people will go out and try to ruin that. So. I mean, from our experience, this was absolutely delicious. You know I would tell you guys if it wasn't. We're gonna skip to dessert. This is a highly rated bread pudding. Jake and I are gonna do it at the same exact time. Wow. You ready for this? One, two. two. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know if I love it, but I, it's like- I, I thought I was going to I love thought it. It kind of tastes like milk. I don't like the texture. It's kind of soggy bread, but you it's know- It's like, it's a croissant, yeah. It's a definitely. soggy croissant with milk and like, Cream. cream or honey or something on top. It's very homey. It's, it's definitely like, like they made it this here. This is what I think like southern home food. Like imagine like working all day, construction, you get home and your wife's like, here's some mm. here's some nice creamy bread. <laughs> it's almost like a flan in a way. It's served in Texas called Capido Tada. I don't know, man. You guys let me know. Have you guys had it? Try to describe the taste of it in the comments below so that other people can really understand. We did see some reviews about the restroom, so oh, I think it's, it's only time. time that Jake takes over this vlog. It's my right time in. to shine. Let's do it. Go do it. And this is Jake's bathroom review. Okay, first off, they said that this bathroom is pretty clean. And I mean, like, it's clean, but it's not dry. There's water all over the floor. Like, this whole bathroom is completely wet. I mean, no one flushes here. There's pee in the toilets. I mean, they got toilet paper. They got everything around. Wait, let me, let me flush this for this guy. Toilet pressure's pretty good. I don't think it will hold up to the, all the barbecue food that I ate, but maybe I'll give it a try later, you know what I mean? There is a wet floor sign, so I guess, so I guess they have acknowledged that the floor is wet. There is two urinals, one for the small and one for the big. I mean, that's pretty much it. This does have really good window lighting. So I mean, might as well take a selfie. And that was Jake's bathroom review, so let's get out of here. How much the brisket? This is the brisket? This is for tomorrow. Tomorrow's brisket? Yeah. How long does it take to cook it? 14, 15, or 16 hours. So you start cooking it today for tomorrow? For tomorrow, yeah. Oh, wow. And it's already so tender. It was so juicy and so tender when I ate it. How many people do you, do you serve with that? For work? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or people. Or and 15. how many do you guys cook a day? For today, for tomorrow, yeah. we have one, uh, the party. Uh-huh. For... 450 mm. people. I need a uh, 60 brisket. 60 of <laughs> this. How long have you been working here? Me? Yeah. Uh, four years. Four years. You love it here? Yeah. Awesome. Right on, Great. Thank you so much. Do you know how long it takes to cook one brisket? Did you hear? Yeah, he said 15, 16 hours. So they cook for tomorrow. Yes, yeah. they're starting right now. What time is it? Uh, 1:30. It's 1:30, and they're out here barbecuing these briskets. He's cutting more for tomorrow. They're continuing barbecuing, so that means they, if they run out, they run out. No wonder why that person's reviews, they don't give enough supplies. It takes 16 hours to make yeah. a brisket. Like, if you run, there's no just cooking another one in half an hour, you know what I mean? That's insane. It's like non-stop cooking. Never. Yeah. What is this? A uh, pork rate. Oh, oh, wow. And how long have they been in here for? Three, four hours. Three, four hours? Oh, uh, that one is a turkey. That's turkey. Yeah. So how long have you been cooking the turkey for? Uh, three hours. Three hours. Two, two thirty or three hours. And is there someone that sits here overnight and like checks on it, or because you guys cook it overnight, right? Yeah, that one is for one day. Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely tell that Killen's Barbecue puts a lot of effort and a lot of love into their food, and it's absolutely delicious. I had a five star experience. Yeah, I think everything about it was absolutely delicious. And that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If they did, what should they do? Um, like and subscribe, and also join the Taylor fam by yes. doing that. You already know what's going on. Make sure you go check out Emily's channel. Emily is an aspiring YouTuber as well. So go help her out, go tell her that I sent you guys. And until next time, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time I post. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.